Okay, I'm just gonna go over a uh, new little uh, laser. Actually, it's not little. It's uh, about the same power. It's a 300 milliwatt, uh, but it's a violet laser. And I've got some scraps from some earlier cutting around. I didn't really push them out of the way, but I just wanted to test it on uh, the back of a red uh, CD sleeve. And uh, a little quick view of the uh, foam cutout I did just to test making a faceplate but this laser uh, is a little bit too powerful and it's supplied to be switched on by the ULN 2003 so it has a little uh, little relay module temporarily connected and it needs a fan and that also helps keep the smoke away from the workplace so there's just a little uh, chipset fan uh, mounted there and I'm just going to uh, send I don't know if you can see that there I'm just gonna send that g-code uh, off to it. Ooh, a little bit of shake there. Sorry about that. Still don't have a tripod, so I'm just going to click send. And as you can see there, the laser has turned on. And it is starting to, uh, starting to cut. Now, this particular run, let me see if I can get in closer there. This particular run here is uh, just a short one, but what I might do is record the start of this and then uh, come back and film a bit towards the end. Yeah, let's try that. So as we can see, it's uh, just about done the first letter there. And it's having no problem working on that red paper, which the old red laser would not be able to uh, would not be able to cut because uh, it would reflect the red. So uh, there, it's just starting a new letter. And again, I'll pause till we get a little bit more done. Well, um, I can see it uh, it's cutting a little, with a little bit too much power. It's actually going through to the lower layer. <laughs> I was hoping to get it to actually cut out YouTube in red, but as you can see, it's uh, passing through the passing through the uh, paper and hitting the plastic on the bottom side. Oops, sorry, that again. Uh, let's just see something here. Maybe you can get a little bit better view. Focus here. Yeah, it records it a little better. It's not getting its, it's autofocus knocked out by the laser now, which is the difference between the red laser and this one. The red laser didn't really mess up this uh, camera's autofocus, but uh, the uh, violet laser here seems to. Anyhow, seeing how it bent that up a bit, I'm going to uh, probably cut this uh, recording uh, a little bit early. But anyhow, that's the new laser. Um, can't, well, I'll just show. Need a little bit better mounting than just to the side of the old ink cartridge like the previous one. And I'm going to need to mount the uh, red laser next to that on the opposite side. But uh, other than that, it seems to be working uh, pretty easily here. Let's see if we can get that with a little better focus there. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the violet laser kind of messes with the autofocus for some reason. But. Uh, Anyhow, thanks for watching. Earlier, uh, I uh, filmed this while it was still cutting, and I uh, just thought I would show the uh, the aftermath. As you can see, the laser kind of uh, went a bit too far through the paper and uh, disturbed the plastic underneath. So I'm just going to uh, pick this up here, and uh, you can see it uh, clearly went through 
plastic <laughs> behind. <laughs> and uh, I think we have, yeah, it even went into the, uh, deeply into the cardboard below. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the uh, new violet laser that I ordered from uh, banggood.com. And it came with a power supply, and it uh, has the uh, driver module and everything in it. And uh, again, thanks for watching.